Welcome along to a very special production diary. I'm Richard Edwards with news of a brand new documentary we've got coming up later this year that celebrates 50 years of On the Buses at the Movies. Well, we're really delighted to say that we've got in production a brand new documentary on the buses at the movies, non-stop laughter that looks back at the wonderful films, the wonderful on the buses films that were released in 1971, 72 and 73. That's on the buses, mutiny on the buses and then holiday on the buses. And a fourth, in fact, was planned but never made. It's a TV series that's reached incredible heights and is incredibly popular around the world, as indeed are the films. There's barely a bank holiday in the UK where the On The Buses movies aren't being shown on ITV3 or one of the other channels. There's an enduring appeal for these films which seems inexplicable. This is comedy from the early 1970s and yet even today new audiences are coming to these films loving them and enjoying them just as much as their parents and their grandparents did 30, 40, 50 years ago. We're taking a close look behind the scenes, how the films were made, where they were made in fact. We're going in search of Stage 5, now buried underneath a Tesco's car park. We're going out and revisiting some of the wonderful locations around Boreham Wood and Elstree where the first two films were made and also perhaps some of the locations up towards Prestatyn at the Pontins camp up there where the third film, Holiday on the Buses, was shot. We're talking to cast and crew, some of the people who worked on those original films, one or two of the actors who appeared in the films, as well as some tremendous archive from the wonderful Morris Bright. We've got interviews with Reg Varney, Anna Karen, Stephen Lewis, Ronald Chesney and Ronald Wolfe, the two writers of the TV series and of the three films, as well as an interview with Roy Skeggs, production supervisor from Hammer Films, who was responsible for putting the films together and getting them made. There were 74 episodes of On the Buses and three films. And the first film of On the Buses that went out uh, made uh, a million in six weeks. It was interesting, the first film, we were lucky again because we found a story which was based on the original thing, where in Nottingham, at that time, they'd started wanting to use women bus drivers and That's the men went story. on strike. Stephen Lewis and Bob Grant had both come from the Joan Littlewood stable, so they could create anything. And I think Stephen was absolutely hysterical because he would be given a line saying, oh no, and that would develop into a series, you know, oh no, 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 but, but. and I mean, it was just extraordinary. This guy was somebody who had been a sergeant in the army and he was able to control the men under him with all that force behind him. He didn't have it now, so he was frustrated. So he was like, oh, 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 oh I'll get you, butler, I'll get you, I'll have you with this. Yes, Rose needed to learn to like, uh, drive the bus, and we got him to drive it. A nice man came in and he learned, within a week he was fine. And we found that uh, with that capacity, we could stick all the props and the lighting and everything on the bus and Reg would drive it to the location. And we'd unload the equipment and put on the passengers. When I was in the army, I drove uh, uh, big diamond T lorries. So it, that bike where it wasn't, but it was when we put us on the skid pan, he put me on the, they put me on the skid pan. There's a, uh, an expert behind you on the floor. And as and I was turning around, he pulled this <laughs> and the bus went <laughs> <laughs> so the film is in production, it's on the buses at the movies, it's all about non-stop laughter and it celebrates the 50th anniversary of On the Buses at the movies. It's out at the end of August which is 50 years to the month that the first film was released on the buses in 1971. It'll be available on digital channels where you can rent or buy the film online. We're hopefully gonna have a DVD coming together. More news on that coming soon. So look out for more production diaries in the weeks and months ahead with more news from behind the scenes. We'll get to meet some of the people who are taking part in the documentary. We'll show you some of the locations where we're working and give you more news and insights on what you can expect from On The Buses at The Movies, a new and exclusive documentary from Rabbit and Snail Films due for release in August 2021.
It'd be great to know what you think, so do leave some comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that little bell icon to get a notification every time we release a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.